Alrighty, so tomorrow I am going to be going backpacking up in the Wind River. Um, normally I'd be sitting down here to tell you about the super cool expired film that I'm going to shoot, but I feel like I've been so caught up with picking expired films that I'm just a little bit tired of it. So I'm going to take a break and for this one I'm going to shoot what is, in my opinion, the most non-expired film out there, Kodak Pro Image 100, which the few times I've shot it is basically just the most non-film film you can get. Um, it looks super flat, sharp, almost like a digital photo. It doesn't really have some characteristics of film, but um, I kind of just wanted something to throw on my camera and take some nice film landscape photos. So a little bit different than the last times, but these are the three rolls I'm going to bring. And then of course, I will be shooting with my trusty backpacking camera, the Olympus OM-1. Uh, this one has a 28 millimeter f2.8 lens, so it's the exact same combo that I took with me on the pack trip. It's absolutely fantastic. I love this setup and I don't care a whole lot about it if it gets damaged. So that's what we'll be shooting, the OM-1 and a pro image, and um, gonna be backpacking up in the Wind River. All right, so um, we're back. Uh, this is after the whole backpacking trip, of course. Um, I actually just got back last night. I haven't even seen or developed any of the film photos yet, but I wanted to give you a little rundown while it's still fresh. So um, if I say that a photo is a banger and it's complete garbage, then it's because I haven't seen it yet. So just a little preface. So let's get into it. Um, day one basically rained on us the entire day. Um, no, I'm joking. Just in the morning and it was actually very nice right when we set off. So we got perfectly baited into getting dumped on. The day started um, with us waking up in the car. We had car camped just a few minutes away from the trailhead. So we had a very nice breakfast, got everything sorted packed up our bags, went to the trailhead, started off on the first day, looked gorgeous. Um, a little ways into the hike, it started to very gently hail on us. It was actually pretty nice to walk through. It was a little bit cooling. Um, it was kind of just fine, I guess. Um, a little bit later though, it just started absolutely dumping on us. Sometimes rain, sometimes sleet. It was super cold wet, freezing. So safe to say the camera stayed tucked away deep inside my bag. I did not want to get that thing wet so I did not risk taking it out at all. I did um, take a handful of Coolpix photos so I'll sprinkle those in there for you but I even got worried that this was gonna break because it was pretty pretty wet. Not a whole lot of picture taking in the morning but around lunch the weather did like a full 180 um, shorts and t-shirt weather and yeah, completely cleared up. It was really nice and clear after the storm. I brought my camera out. When I'm hiking, I wear it around my chest. I didn't take a whole lot of pictures after lunch. I took a few uh, right away just because I was so bummed that it was stuck in my backpack for such a long time. But after that, I just kind of put it on my chest and continued hiking because I really just wanted to be at our first camp. For a little bit of a change tomorrow, and of course the possibility of some scattered showers. Today, of course, there's nothing showing up on the radar. However, the satellite photo was pretty interesting for the western half of the U.S. Rain showers and thunder showers along that frontal system. And 
that wide band of fairly heavy snow is know what will happen each time that you see the frontal system on there that begins at six o'clock in the morning and then you'll see the cloud pattern move until two o'clock this afternoon so as of that time of course the front was way off in the northwest now however it's moving into the central part of the nation with a couple of high pressure sex cells behind it Our first camp, it was up, tucked away at this lake. It's an absolutely gorgeous campsite. We had a really pretty sunset because there were still some storm clouds lingering in the distance. Those lit up really nicely. So I did take a couple film pictures up there. Um, I think that they turned out really nice. It was really pretty framing through the trees. Um, I also took a ridiculous amount of videos of that. So definitely captured the moment. Don't need to worry about that. Also some cool pic shots. I mean, it was really nice. So, um. First day, although it rained on us, was a success, I would say. Day two was a gorgeous day. Um, no rain at all, perfect conditions. Started out with a pretty steep climb though, about two miles of just hiking up. Um, this pass called Washakie Pass, which was, which turned out to be quite an ordeal. So I really didn't use my camera all that much. I left it in my bag, I was just focused on hiking. Um, I did stop halfway up to take one photo because it was just the most perfect scene you've ever seen. I mean, here, I'll, I'll stop talking and you can just listen to this scene. It was spectacular. Right, like, did you, did you hear just the little trickle of water going down there and then some beautiful bushes and then the mountains in the background? Really nice. So had to stop for that picture and then threw the camera back in and just went up. yeah it was a long one but I finally made it up to the top and then I figured I ought to take a picture of the summit kind of like um, an accomplishment type photo I really wasn't vibing with the shot that much it was a lot of just like well I had had to have the Snickers first so after the Snickers I went out and took the shot but I was not vibing with it because it was a lot of just gray rock but um it's like a trophy I guess like I made it up the pass here's the picture The other side of the pass was kind of just as hard, but going downhill. It was super loose, pretty steep. Um, so the camera had to go back in the backpack and I just had to focus on making it down, but really nice views on that side of the pass. Um, a couple lakes to look at. And once we made it down there, we had lunch at one of the lakes. I broke the camera out, started wearing it around my chest. It was pretty smooth sailing from then on. We were just walking along these lakes. One of the lakes we went to, it was Washakie Lake, which was just this gorgeous, huge lake that was kind of nestled in these mountains. It had these huge peaks on either side of it. So I took a few pictures there. And then once we walked down um, out into the meadow below Washakie Lake, I took a lot more pictures there because it was just this beautiful open basin with some great colors. And it was that afternoon light. So it was really, really nice. And then we hiked up to our campsite for the night, uh, which was at another smaller lake. Um, this lake was a little bit in the shadows, so I didn't get too many photos of it, but later on we did get another really nice sunset, some nice colors on some peaks off in the distance, and it was another really nicely framed shot between these trees. And of course, I took some videos and some cool pics pictures because I did not want to miss it. So um, yeah, day three. Day three was a long one, but not a lot of ups or downs, kind of just pretty level hiking. It's 
started out with a mellow um, pass, pretty mellow summit. I wasn't really shooting too much on that hike, uh, kind of just focused on making it up there. I did stop at one point to take this picture of the backpackers in front of us because there was some really nice uh, colors in the bushes and the sun was hitting them perfectly. One note is I wish that I had a lens hood because while I was taking that picture, I had to like block out the sun with my hand. Um, I think maybe at one point they thought I was waving to them, but really I was just trying to find the perfect shadow so that I would prevent any lens flare, but hopefully it worked out, we'll see. And then hiked some more. Once we got up to the top of that pass, we kind of just stayed up on this plateau, um, which was really nice for hiking because we were up high, so you could kind of see like really far out onto the top of these peaks, uh, but not so great for photos because it was really gray and really rocky and not that colorful up there. Still just kept the camera in my backpack, just walked for what felt like forever through these meadows and this boulder field. But um, eventually we stopped to grab some lunch and I brought the camera out at that point for no real good reason because we still had to cross another boulder field. But um, yeah, I had the camera out. I did take this one shot, but even that photo, it took me like 15 minutes to commit to actually taking it and I don't even think it was that great. But kept going. Eventually we came to the end of this kind of plateau stretch and we had a fairly steep descent. It was short, but it was pretty steep um, and very rocky. So didn't take any pictures for that bit. Um, I was firing away on the cool pics. I mean, I'd been firing away on the cool pics the whole day, but film photos, not so much. I just left my camera in my bag. When we got down though, we reached this absolutely gorgeous meadow. So I brought my camera back out, took a few pictures that I think are really gonna turn out great because it was just this beautiful golden meadow with some streams going through it and it was late afternoon light. Um, I hope that they turned out because I was kind of going crazy with how pretty it was. And then our campsite was actually in that meadow, it was like 30 minutes farther up, we set up camp and then I went out and took some more pictures. I was just having the time of my life jumping around on rocks in the rivers, taking some photos. We didn't really get a good sunset at that campsite because we were pretty low in the mountains. So um, no sunset picture on that one, but I still took an excess amount of videos for who knows why it wasn't even that pretty, but um, here you can see them. And then yeah, just went to bed after that. Day four was our last day. We were gonna complete our loop and hike back out. So um, we hiked through the meadow, gorgeous, took a few pictures there. Not a whole lot though. I was kind of reluctant on the film for most of the trip and I was actually just using my cool pics a lot more. But I got a couple shots in the meadow and then we had this final pass called Jackass Pass, which was a short but really steep pass. So lo and behold, camera went back into the bag and I just focused on making it up the pass. I did stop at one point to take this shot just of the lake below us and the mountains in the background. Not a whole lot going on there, but there was some nice color with the green and the blue sky. And I think it could have some good detail in it. So we'll have to see about that one, but it was just a shot that I wanted to take.
and then once we got to the top I realized that I had finished off the roll I took 36 shots and uh, basically that was that I got one extra picture that I did take later on on the other side of the pass, but I forgot to take any videos of that part. So for the YouTube video, we're just gonna say that I finished the roll up on the pass and uh, yeah, that was that. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the photos. I definitely right now hope that they turned out because I think there were some really pretty scenes along that trip. I mean, it was an incredible trip. Um, really just a beautiful place to be, so. I'm hoping that the pro image pulls through, it totally should, it's not expired, a very standard, well-performing film, yeah, that's what I was looking for, so I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you enjoyed the photos, and thank you so much for watching.